Sean Gill's exposition of the entire Bible verse by verse. Brought to you by Discovering Scriptures, being read by Dr. Peter John. Naaman, chapter 3, verse 6. Reading first from the King James Bible. I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a glazing stock. Unquote. John Gill quote. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee, as dirt and dung, or any or everything that is abominable and filthy, and which is thrown at harlots publicly, disgraced, and is used to be persons when carted. The meaning is that this city and its inhabitants should be stripped of everything that was great and glorious in them, and should be reduced to the utmost shame and enigmity. To make thee vile means abject, contemptible, the outscurring of all things, rejected, and disesteemed of all, had in no manner of repute or account that in the utmost abhorrency. And I will set thee as a grazing stock to be looked and laughed at, or for an example to others, that they may shun the evils and abominations Nineveh had been guilty of, or expect the same disgrace and punishment. Kimchi interprets it as dung, to be no more reckoned of than that, or to be made a dunghill of, or so many others interpreted or for a looking glass, that others may look into and take warning and avoid the sins that have brought on such calamities. Unquote. King James Version, Naaman chapter 3, verse 6, quote, I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock. Unquote. End of John Gill, chapter 3, verse 6.